Today I want to talk about a beautiful lens. This is the Voigtlander 50mm APO f2 and first thing that comes to my mind because this is in Leica M mount is the beautiful Leica 50 APO which I loved when I reviewed that lens years ago. The Leica is $8,000. This lens is just over $1,000, so a lot less expensive, but how's the performance? Now I have the M mount here adapted to a Panasonic S5 as well as a Leica SL2S and the lens performs beautifully. In fact, if I can be honest, it reminds me quite a bit of the Leica 50 APO and I just had a Leica 50 APO here a few weeks back and I have to say there's in my eyes and in my opinion it's not that big of a difference. We talk about the law of diminishing returns and that is definitely the case when you buy the Leica version over the Voigtlander but let's take a look at some images here. This image was shot at f2 on a Panasonic S5 out in the cold. You can see the nice colors, the sharpness, uh, no issues here with the color at all, adapting it to the S5. As a matter of fact, it looks really, really good. We have a smooth rendering. And in this next shot of me, I shot myself in a mirror. And yes, it was cold uh, inside uh, uh, the, the rendering again. It's very sharp across the frame. Uh, I don't see any distortion to worry about at all. And again, it reminds me a bit of that Leica. Now this shot, I love this shot. I looked out my front window. I saw 17 cardinals in the tree. I picked up the S5. The F50 uh, APO was set to F2. I snapped this image. Beautiful rendering. And again, there's no issues here in the rendering. It just looks beautiful. Here's my dog, Baby. Now this is right out of camera, so you see a little vignetting because out of camera you will get vignetting uh, because this is not a coded M lens on a Leica M camera. There's no corrections being applied. So this is what you can expect uh, pretty much right out of the camera on the S5. Again, these are all so far on the S5, which I kind of liked a little bit better than the SL2S as far as the rendering goes. I feel the S5 has beautiful color and tonality, and a lens like this really gives that buttery smooth rendering, yet with gobs of detail. It's not analytical. It has that smooth kind of look, much like the Leica 50 APO. Um, this is a fantastic lens. It first came out on the Sony, and I did review it over at stevehuffphoto.com uh, on a Sony body, the Sony version. I proclaimed it the best lens Voigtlander has made, and I stick by that. Look at this rendering. The subject is so sharp, and the color is so awesome, but the background has a nice blur to it, nothing distracting. Again, this is on the S5 L mount. The S5 is full frame. This is a full frame lens, tiny, much smaller than the Sony mount. Now again, here's one out of camera. You see the slight vignetting. The vignetting's easily fixable in your editor of choice, whether you're using Lightroom, Photoshop, Capture One, what have you. Um, but again, the lens is very sharp, uh, wide open. Uh, as a matter of fact, I love shooting this lens wide open. Here's, a, here's one on the SL, and that last one was on the SL2S as well. I put a little crop here. It's just as detailed on the SL2S. The SL2S and S5 are fantastic cameras with beautiful sensors. Here's one more on the SL2S. Again, you can see the character of the bouquet. Uh, I believe this one was pretty much right out of the camera as well. Uh, again, there's no coating on this lens, so there's no corrections, but the lens has really no distortion that I can see visibly. Um, no issues with color cast. It just looks really, really nice. Now here's a nice shot of the 50 F2 APO. Again, this is M mount. This is with the hood. Now this lens arrived to me from CameraQuest.com. Stephen Gandy is the USA distributor for Voigtlander. And he sent me this lens and told me to try it out. 
let them know what I thought about it. And um, it's beautiful. I really, I don't want to send it back to him. Uh, it's small. It's jewel-like. The aperture ring is smooth as silk. The focus ring is smooth, smooth as silk. You have that knurled focusing ring, which I personally prefer to tabs. Um, everything about this lens is high quality. Voigtlander has truly upped their game over the last few years. And again, I'll say this lens to me is Voigtlander's best lens to date. It really is gorgeous. Um, now, I shot this slow motion footage on a Canon C300 Mark II, um, but I have this lens permanently attached to the SL2S and been trying out that S5. I think it works wonderfully on both cameras. I really don't have a preference, though I do prefer the color rendering with this lens on the S5. Uh, there's a few left in stock, I believe, at CameraQuest. If you're interested, go to CameraQuest.com, check it out. And uh, I will see you guys next time. Thumbs up and subscribe if you like this video. Love to you all.